Hi guys, I'm Callie Bass. This is my presentation of my Studio 5 project this semester. Um, we did the Georgia Southern University Wellness Center. To start off with my design, I chose six words at the beginning of the semester that I wanted to incorporate throughout my design this semester. Um, I chose supportive and caring, organic, peace, organic and peaceful, and clean and productive. They all kind of go hand in hand. So my concept for this space was to create a biophilic healthcare facility. Um, it would include, it will include a counseling center, women's clinic, and childcare. These facilities will provide a wide range of services, including checkups, therapies, treatments, and childcare. Um, my goal for this facility is to create a supportive and safe environment for all patients and visitors by using neutral tones, organic features, and a wide variety of textures. This space will spark a peaceful state of mind for every visitor who walks through the doors. By creating a caring and clean environment, productivity throughout this space will be unmatched. This is a color palette that I chose to go off of and a few inspiration images as well. This is my mood board. Um, I included a bunch of different textures, lots of neutral tones, um, and I wanted to include the fact that I will probably be using pops of orange and green. So my goals for this space were to enhance patient safety throughout facility design. This is gonna be by following codes and guidelines as well as just creating a nice flow and circulation throughout the space. Um, I wanted to reduce stress and fatigue for staff and patients, and I did some research on this by using like natural light, natural light and um, creating a beautiful physical environment can do this. Um, I also wanted to create a private and safe environment where patients feel safe and comfortable. This is especially important in the counseling center, as I will get to, and um, we just want a functional structure throughout the space. So this is my needs list that I created after our client interview. Um, some of the main things were doors that open inward, kind of having an educational room that could support more people at one time, um, better access to emergency resources, things like this, natural light. Um, yes. So here's my evidence-based design. I kind of took some of my personal research, some of my group's research, and some of our research with the um, psychology class and put it all together. Um, the main thing I researched was safety and well-being, as well as materials and finishes. These are things that are really important in this space. A healthcare facility must be clean at all times, and the safety of the patients is the, is the priority. Here are my sources from my research. Getting into our schematic design, I've got my bubble diagrams of all three spaces. Um, my first floor adjacency matrix with my women's clinic and childcare facility, and then my block diagram, um, well, the start of my block diagram on the second floor. Here are some of my preliminary sketches. This is my initial idea for check-in. Uh, I started to think it was a little bit too institutional, so we ended up changing this one completely, but my education room is similar to this sketch, so. We'll see how it develops, right? <laughs> Alrighty, here's my circulation on level two, just kind of showing that there's good flow throughout this space. There's, um, this is the entry for the therapy rooms, and then you'll, you can take any of these three entries, or um, I guess a nurse would ask you to come through either of these doors, and it's got a nice circulation, and then two exits out without having to go back through the waiting room. Same thing on this side. This is, over here is my education rooms in the middle. We've got all of our treatment rooms around the bottom and then we've got a group therapy waiting room and then this is a treatment waiting room and then all of our admin in the back corner. Here is my floor plan for level one. Kind of just gives you an overall idea of the space that's been created. Downstairs is our women's clinic on the left side, um, childcare on the right side, um, on the childcare side, we divide it up by age group for each classroom, and then I did a bunch of admin space in the back that could be used by um, all three um, facilities. Then on the women's clinic side, 
We've got the weight room, exam rooms, um, consultation rooms, vitals area, and then all the admin in the back, same way. This is the upstairs floor plan. We kind of just went through this one with the circulation. You can definitely see better like the furniture here in each therapy room. These are our um, treatment rooms down here and quiet rooms off to the side. Crisis area is over here with intern and admin offices in the back. Here is the furniture floor plan with all of the rooms labeled just to give you a little more detail. Same thing for the upstairs. Here is my ceiling plan for downstairs. So I did my exam room, my waiting women's room, women's clinic waiting area, and then the entry. I did a lot of linear boxes throughout just because the voltage was the best. Um, really created a good like natural light almost. Um, I also did a few um, recess lights, a few pendants and some fun suspended lighting. Here is my upstairs ceiling plan. So this is my ceiling plan for a therapy room. And then here is my quiet room and education room. Still did a bunch of um, two by two linear boxes on this floor, but kind of included some more fun fixtures, um, as you'll see. Here's this perspective of my entry. Did some cool couches. This one was really fun. Um, yes. That's it. Here is my women's clinic entry. So there's a wall that kind of divides it so you can't see from the entry who's sitting in the waiting room. But once you get in there, you can kind of sit there and, you know, in, in the women's clinic, it was the one that didn't have to be like completely separated. So, um, and then also here's my gender neutral bathroom. So we've got a stall in here, it's accessible. And um, we've got sink. There's a mirror on the wall, you can't see it. <laughs> And then trash receptacle, hair, hand dryer, and baby changing station. This is my therapy room rendering. I really stuck with the neutral tones throughout this space. Did a pop of green on the couch. Um, and this is the illuminance rendering for this space, just to show how well this, the light is dispersed in this room. This is the material board that I made for my therapy room. Um, we did a jute wallpaper, which will be very durable. Um, and then a treated green fabric porcelain tiles on the floor. We did a treated leather for the counselor's chair and then um, a nice upholstered fabric for her um, desk chair which in the video or in the image, you can see that the desk is right in front of the door over here. So she is always closest to the door. Um, and then this is our fabric for our poof and the three paint samples that I use throughout the entire project. This is my women's clinic waiting room. We did a decal on the wall, a fun um, countertop to really bring in some texture and then some plants as kind of a division between the seating so you're not staring directly at the person right across from you. And then some nice lighting in here as well. This is my waiting room FFNE. We did the same porcelain tile. Here are the same paint samples. We did some wood slat detailing on the drop down ceiling, um, marble countertop, vinyl treated, um, treated vinyl chair treated vinyl chair upholstery and then a wool carpet. Here is our exam room rendering. It's got exposed brick walls, definitely kept it very neutral in here, very calming and well lit. Here's my FF&E, the same wall covering from the therapy room, exposed white brick. We did treated oak flooring in here because it's a little more sound absorbing than the porcelain tile which I felt was important in this space. And then the same Sherwin-Williams paint sample. This is my education room. I wanted to do a live green wall in this area. Lots of poofs on the floor. It can be very interactive, used in different ways. Um, and then exposed brick beams as well. 
kind of the cool ceiling detail up top too. So here's our poof upholstery on the two different size poofs. Wall covering, um, we changed the carpet in here, but stuck with the same vinyl flooring and um, paint samples. And this is my quiet room rendering. Um, pretty much the same materials in here as well. We did do an acoustic ceiling tile to make this sound a l this uh, room a little bit more quiet. And that is all for my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. And.